Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Free Plugin Showcase video here. Today I'll be showing an amazing plugin called Holo Drop X. So it's basically a plugin which uh, shows a hologram when you drop an item. So as you can see, I have several items in my inventory. So if I drop it, it's going to show the name here and the count. So there is plenty of stuff you can configure. So there's even like uh, a custom name here. So actually set it to uh, like glow. So as you can see, it's glowing as I dropped it. So I, I can even configure certain items to glow. So as you can see, it glows in a yellow color. I can show you how to do that later. And yeah, there's even item frame settings. So like, you know, as you can see, there's a certain item frames here. And if I add it on there, I can see the name of the item with the count. So it's pretty much same with all three. So yeah, I can show you that all right now. So let's get into the configuration part. So here I am at the configuration part. So basically, uh, you can edit the stack count. So currently it's an X and the count in the white color. So you can just change it to yellow or orange. So you can just put E or six. I'm not sure if six is called gold or orange. It's up to you really. And you can even change it to like count. And yeah, that's really up to you. And this is actually a feature which is default. Uh, like it's disabled by default. So what it does is like if you drop only one item, it's not going to show the count. But if you enable this, it's going to show the count like X1. And here's the prefix and the suffix. And here's the whole format. And make sure to enable the worlds or else it won't work in the particular world. So yeah, just make sure to list all the worlds if, you have, if you're using multiverse score or something. And here's the option, it's actually default or uh, disabled. It's actually disabled by default. And you can just enable it and it will show the name when you look at it. For example, I showed you with the shard, right? So like that one. And then you can even like configure it only for custom names only. I'll show you that in a bit. And you can even blacklist the words here. So you can just make it so that they don't uh, show up when you drop the item. And there's the item glow here. So this is the one I was showing you. So you can actually like add a glow list over here. So basically what it does is it actually reads the latest color. So right now it's yellow here or you can just remove that and it's going to glow in red because that's the latest color and make sure your item is named exactly like this. And if you do add a color then make sure your item is uh, renamed exactly like this and it will work like that. And there's a drop protection. So like uh, if you enable this, no one can pick up your uh, drops for like 60 seconds, I think. So you can just leave it to uh, zero if you want to be unlimited or you can just keep it 60 as it is. And here's a protection format and here's a protection item list. You can leave it blank for all drops. So like, I mean, if you want it only for certain items like diamonds or something, like maybe if someone is out of space and they're mining and you don't want anyone to steal a particular person's, uh, you know, hard work, you can just do that. And here's the protection source. You can just disable that if you don't want to, but just keep it enabled. And here's all the item names. You can just keep it as it is. You don't really need to touch it. Or if you want, you can touch it. It's really up to you. If you want to go through the hard work and yeah that's pretty much that for the video uh, if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content and see ya